when you're in your home screen, you're going to go to the bottom here and click on the little dot on the left. And then you're going to either, if you have like a button here that says camera, just click on it. If you don't, what you can do is just click on there and then write camera. And then an icon will pop up. You're going to click on that and that will show you your camera. Now, you're going to take the drawing that you just made and you're going to hold it up. You need decent light. You need good light, okay? The other thing is you're going to have to hold this super straight, as straight as you can. So, you might have to adjust the angle of your screen a little bit to make sure it's kind of 90 degrees, like that. We're going to hold up our picture like this. You guys don't have a touch screen, so I'll do it the right way. And I'm going to click here. Take photo. That's all. Okay, so the first thing you are going to do is open up the Sketchpad app. So, um, and I have this in incognito mode because that way I can work as a student. Sketchpad app opens up. And we don't need this. Then where you're going to go is right here you see the little smiley face and it says clip art. Click on that. And then you're going to click load your own image, that big red box up here. Here is my image. Cool. Now, here's what we're going to do with this. I am also going to do, I'm going to find the image of the thing that I actually wanted to uh, draw. So I have some images in our Google Classroom um that you can use but if you go to classwork here hip-hop culture this is the material and you can pick whichever one you like so um let's grab Breonna Taylor so these are all Black Lives Matter um related images okay so you're going to click on one of the images right click on it which on a Chromebook is clicking with two fingers and you say copy image, click on that. You're going to go to Sketchpad and you're going to click on the image and you're going to go Control and V. And that will put it right in there. Now, I want to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to click on the actual image of Breonna Taylor. And I'm going to hold Shift down while I'm doing this. And I'm going to go make it bigger. Like this. And look how it says here, opacity. Right now, it's 100%. What that means now is that I know the image, where the corner of our eye is. So I can start connecting behind what's behind Breonna Taylor. Connecting the corners of now our eyes and making the, the shape of opacity eyes. down so it becomes more transparent, you can start seeing the letters behind it. That's kind of what I want. So now I can see the doodles or the letters and the numbers that I have behind there. That's all I want because now I have a reference. I can know now where the corner of her eye is. So on my own drawing, that's where I'm going to put the corner of her eye, right in the middle of the sea here. I can also have a look and see, well, right across from there, her eyelash here is right, goes right from this part of the B to this part of the B. Okay? So again, that's something that I know now, so I can do that, mark that on my paper. This eye here, the intersection is right about here, kind of like just above the middle of the, the upright of the D. And then it goes on to where I have here the top of my E, right there. This here, this is about where her eye is. And then the top of her eyelash is about here. So then I can again make that connection so I know sort of where her eye is. Like that. Sorry, my dog is barking like crazy. Okay. We follow just the shape of her eye, just like we see in the picture. And then kind of in the middle is where her pupil is. So we'll put that in there. It's basically like a circle again put that shimmer in there there we go and we have our eye okay so this is um, 
how far I got so far and I did a little bit differently than what I want you to do because I really wanted to show you what I did um, so the red lines is the actual outline drawing of of Breonna Taylor and then what I did was if you look at here closely you see that everywhere I intersected with one of my doodles with one of my numbers or letters I put a little blue line blue circle so for instance here the bottom of the three you could see that's where it intersected with the top of her forehead um, her eyebrow I knew that I wanted to be about here I could also see that the end of her eyebrow was going to be kind of at the same line as the the nose line here so I kind of like that's where I ended that same kind of here you can kind of like compare these things so what you're looking for is all these reference points of where where the uh, the facial feature um, in, intersects with uh, with a piece of the letter so for instance here the letter K the bottom of the letter K was kind of like where the corner of the bottom of her mouth was and then this is where her her the top of her mouth intersected with the letter K as well and here in the middle as well so that's kind of how I figure out where each item is. The hard part was the nose because I didn't have anything there to um, for a reference point. All I could do was kind of compare okay the end of the nose is about here and her nostril is about the same the end of her nostril is the same point as her corner of her eye. So I recommend having the doodles closer together. Other than that this is this is how that works. Now once you're done with this then unlike me you won't have lines that you know all these red and blue uh, circles but you can start erasing all the letters the doodles in the background and once you've done that then you're ready to start coloring it in and you will have your own drawing